Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about uh, a couple of different ways to make equation sheets for when you're, you're going to make an equation sheet for an exam. So we used to do this a lot, and uh, I plan on doing it in my classes as well, where you root memorization has very little, very little use in my my particular opinion. So let's say we have our our piece of paper, and a lot of a lot of professors will give you one one side of one you know eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. To, to write your equation. So rather than, so there, there's two ways that I, I like to do this. You, you might write an equation out and then write uh, the variable names, like if it's uh, y equals mx plus b, you know, standard uh, linear equation, you would we'd write this out and then I always had trouble remembering, remembering what variable stood for. Like if you were talking about equivalence ratio, equivalence ratio would look like this, and then you'd say this might equal uh, fuel to air over fuel to air. I can't write below that. Fuel to air stoichiometric. And then I'm like, well, what does this symbol mean? I can't remember. And then they might say on the test, uh, calculate the equivalence ratio for this. And you're like, okay, what was the equi symbol for equivalence ratio? I can't remember. So I would either write like phi or here it'd be like y is equal to uh, the independent ver or the dependent variable. And x is equal to, you know, the independent variable. M is the y-intercept, or M is the slope, sorry. And B is the y-intercept. But that takes up a lot of space. So if you only have one side of one sheet of paper, you don't necessarily have enough space to take it, write out all your equations and all your variable names for each individual equation. So. I started when I was an, an undergrad. I, w I would do my equation sheets like this. I would take maybe a, what is that? A fifth, a sixth of the paper, and write all the variable names, the the symbol, and then the name, and, and have them all written nice and small in one one upper upper right hand corner of the paper. And then I'd have all the equations written out, you know, in the main bit, main portion of the paper. So that way. Uh, you have all your equations here, and usually group them by topic. You know, if you're going to talk about compressible flow, or you're going to talk about um, uh, angle of shocks, or, or whatever you're going to deal with. Uh, and that way, you don't necessarily have room, or, or they may say you can't write uh, you know, what the equations are for, or no descriptions, or, or no examples. So if you're just going to write pure equations, then you can write all your equations here, and then no. Um, you can remember what all the variables are for in terms of the names, because when it's said in a word problem, calculate such and such, and you can't remember what the symbol for such and such is, I, fi I find it really useful to have uh, to have a, a kind of a an index of, of variable names. So that was the main thing I wanted to talk about. Um, if you are given a, a very small amount of space, uh, you can let's say write it out in this fashion write out everything you want to write about in this fashion scan it and then shrink it and print it out on a, on a, on a computer I've done that before so that can get your text really really small um, if you have a lot of information that you're trying to get on a, an equation sheet uh, it is very useful to make your own equation sheet I know people are tempted to use equation sheets that were made by other people but then it makes it very hard to find what you're looking for so the process of making the equation sheet helps out a lot uh, for when you actually are going to go to use it in the exam. It's also helpful to make it before the night before the exam so that you you make the equation sheet and then try and do your homework with the equation sheet so that you know what to look for or where to look for specific equations on your equation sheet so you can, you can solve the problems faster. You don't spend a lot of time hunting around for the equation that you're looking for. And this is important in exams because most exams are made so that they would be relatively easy to do if you had an infinite amount of time, but uh, you're not given an inf infinite amount of time, so that's one of the places where the difficulty comes in. So I hope you found this useful, and have a good day.